All right, let's talk about Transformers issue number seven from, from Image Comics and Skybound. Uh, this, this continues to be an awesome series, part of the Energon universe, um, which also encompasses the G.I. Joe miniseries that they have going on, like Code Commander and Duke, and forthcoming is uh, um, Destro and Scarlet. Um, and Void Rivals, everyone forgets that because it's not intrinsically linked to um, the Hasbro stuff, but um, Transformers continues to be a dynamic, exciting um, action series. Uh, the art is incredible. Here are, here's the credits. Uh, here's the first page. Colorful stuff, and everyone's recognizable. You've got Puffer, you've got uh, Cup, Warpath, uh, Alita 1. Um, that's a flashback sequence. Uh, yeah, look, I mean, these Transformers comics, I think they're some of the top sellers now, um, in American comics. Uh, there's a reason for that. Um, it has all of the familiar stuff, the familiar imagery, but also does everything in a new, cool way. Uh, there's something shocking that happens in this issue, uh, that, um, is reminiscent of the old Marvel comics where, uh, leaderships would constantly rotate. It wasn't as stable as it was in the, in the uh, comic book. So, like, you know, you'd pick up a, a Marvel um, comic and, like, Grimlock is leader of the Autobots and there's contention and stuff, and then it moves on to someone else, and you're like, oh, I thought Optimus was the leader. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. It's like, you know, I, I think uh, Shockwave became leader of the Decepticons in, like, something like issue six or something like that, or, you know, maybe even earlier. Um, or five, I think. So, yeah, um, uh, this is great stuff. Uh, lots of uh, recognizable um, content, but um, new stuff as well. Um, I mean, I highly recommend this. If, if only for just, like, being a good comic. Um, uh, Well-paced, um, keeps you riveted, keeps you excited. Um, there's something that happened in the, um, the previous issue where... Um, spoilers for the previous issue... Um, Sparky, or their version of Sparkplug, uh, gave his life so the Optimus may live uh, by seemingly being absorbed into the matrix of leadership. And so here there are some consequences to that which were interesting where Optimus is sharing uh, some of um, Sparky's um, memories of Spike when he was a baby. That's what I got out of it, at least. So yeah, um, great stuff. I highly recommend this. Um, even if you're like, well, all Transformers comics, I don't really read comics, just like, pick this one up, it's pretty cool stuff, uh, so I recommend it. Until next time, take care.